get to your game. Uh, hello, Zero K fans. It's Shredder 33 I'm joined with Flores the 14th right now, but I'm going to be casting a game 2v2 now between Black Touchy and Rust Stores versus Cubay and Tommy Knocker. I apologize for the delay. I was trying to set up the audio with Flores. That was the reason why I kind of mentioned I didn't want to do that because it's a bit of a pain to set up the audio, but I did anyway. We are on a map I have never seen before. It is called Tempest Siege. So I'll just show it off for you guys. This is Tempest Siege. It's pretty big, actually. Interesting design. Kind of... Actually, like a lot of the maps I showed in the Nauta tournament. Like Nuclear Winter and... Well, mainly that one, actually. Actually, it looks a lot like Nuclear Winter, to be honest. But if you didn't watch the Nauta tournament, then you won't know what I'm talking about, however. So, whatever. Anyway, game is started up again, and Black Touchy... Okay, Black Touchy going for Cloakabot Factory. With nice support com there. Rush Store is going for support com as well with Light Vehicle Factory. And on the blue side, we have Light Vehicles for Cubay. Also support com. Wow, lots of support com. And Spider, something different for Tommy Knocker, who went for just Strike Com. So, interesting choices there. However, Tommy Knocker is going to be attacked pretty quickly by Black Duchy's Glaives. At the same time, a bunch of darts coming in here. Cuba's going to be able to tear apart all of Rush Source's darts, but at the same time, Tommy Knocker's going to get pretty rude awakening with these glaives. He has no units in place to deal with them, just weavers, no defenses, building all of his power on the edge for some bizarre reason. I'm not sure if he's aware of the overdrive mechanic, but yeah, you need to build your power near metal extractors in order to actually get the overdrive effect. However, no units being built right now, and yeah, this is going to be a little bit annoying, I think, for Cubay, is that Tommy Knock is pretty much going to lose his entire base at the moment. No units being built, nothing being done. There's... Yeah, Cubay is probably going to be a bit annoyed. However, Slashers are coming in here for Rush Swords. They're getting torn apart by the Scorchers from Cubay. So at least that's not going to last too long. Yeah, the Scorchers are going down. Once they get rid of the Slashers, at least they get rid of that first. Actually, Rush Swords Commander is taking a lot of damage. And it looks like this won't be enough, but it'll be close. Actually, no, it will be enough. Getting behind Wreck is just long enough for the... Oh, not quite. 4% health left. 93 health left. That sca that Scorcher almost got the kill. Slash is coming in from Cubay Horror to try to finish the job, and at the same time, Tommy Knocker's factory is taking a lot of damage. Hermit's being built up. Not the right choice. The right choice is the Venom. And Venoms are coming up after the Hermits, but at least one of them is going to be set up somewhat. But unfortunately for it, it's not enough. He needs to have Venoms. Venoms are the thing to use. He'll be getting more Scorches in play, just to set that up. And at the same time, Tommy Knocker does have... Okay, Tommy Knocker surrendered completely. Cubay's taken over Tommy Knocker's base. He is getting the Venoms up as best as he can, but that's not going to work. So basically, it's Cubay versus Black Duchy. Actually, Rush Store's just left. So we've gone to a 1v1 all of a sudden. So Black Touch is just using the top, Cloak about Factory, switching to air as well, making use of all of Rush Source's economy, so at this point, Cubay trying to save the Northeastern Black Touch. He is able to save the Spider Factory just barely. Cubay taking the Strike Commander, getting rid of the Glaives, tearing all that apart, and with the Venoms up, that will be a pretty solid defense. Half a dozen more Glaives, or a dozen more Glaives coming in. And that is one Venom. That's, that's too much for one Venom. For two or three Venoms, they'll be fine, but for one Venom, not so much. And Cubay is... I didn't even set up what the game was, but anyway. She is Cubay, because that's really what it is. Tempest Siege. So yeah, this might be a bit of a long one. Anyway, Cubay does have... Oh no, Rush Source has reconnected. So I'll put him in the description then. Okay, Rush is reconnected. We have back to 2v1. Cubay trying to take care of this. He does have a slasher in place, but that's not going to last long enough. A couple Scorchers are coming in, though. One of them will be able to... That will go down pretty quickly, but the second one... No, actually not going down at all. The Slasher's getting distracted, and the Scorch is able to tear apart all the Slashers once again. Tearing apart the Mason as well. These Scorchers are doing a wonderful job in their own. However, at the same time, in Northeast, Cubay is about to lose Tommy Knocker's old base. Venom's doing a great job stunning everything, but Cubay's not setting up his commander to deal with it, and a bunch of Scythes to finish everything off. So, Tommy Knocker's old base has been torn to shreds. Now, Rush Source, on the other hand, did defend successfully, took a fair amount of damage. He's gonna send in a few mates, probably he's gonna send his commander, actually, to reclaim all this. Bit of a risky move. Cubay actually has set up a lot of metal extractors across the southeast side, or the south side, completely. 
He is really good economy-wise. He's better than Black Touch and Rush Swords combined at the moment, but he is... it's close. Actually, not even... not quite. Rush Swords with the Reclaim is, in fact, getting ahead. But even then, Kyubei pushing out a lot of Scorchers. He was... oh, actually, he's... he's accessing a lot in energy. He was accessing in metal, but he's... sorry, accessing in metal. He doesn't have energy, that's the problem. Getting more and more Care Takers to deal with this, and getting more and more Power Plants to also get rid of the metal. Just out of energy to spend all that metal. So Kyube is exploding. He's just exploding absolutely when it comes to this, and this is... Actually, working out not too badly for Black Touchy either. He does have a caretaker of his own. He does have a couple Ravens coming up. Might go for a comp I'm not sure what he's going to go for at this point. Now, Rush Doors, on the other hand, getting Levelers to deal with the Scorchers. He has Slashers as well. Those haven't worked out too well so far. I don't know why he continues to build them, but he does have them if he needs them. And Kyube going over to the north, but Black Duchy. He is probably prepared for this. Oops. Black Duchy does... Oh, what does he know? What does Black Duchy know? Okay, whatever. Black Duchy has no radar. He only has line of sight. Rush Swords has the radar. And in come the Scorchers. And I think... I think Floris has just returned. I'm not sure, though. Nope, apparently not. Okay, anyway. So at this point, we do have... Uh, scorchers... Oh, okay, Slash has been destroyed. Okay, there we are. Hey, Floris. Hi. So, have you seen the game at all up to this point? Uh, I saw the first 15 seconds and the last 10 seconds. Okay, yeah, lots of stuff has changed between that time, as you may have noticed. I see a lot of blue. Yeah, Kyubei took over Tommy Knocker because Tommy Knocker left. Now, Tommy Knocker's original base was destroyed, so Kyubei has rebuilt as best he can using all that economy. Well, basically his own economy. But at you the know same what? Time, Black Just you, you do your game, I'll restart, reboot. Oh, okay. So, you'll be in the next game. Yeah. Anyway, Black Touchy, however, does have more and more Ravens coming in, stopping these Scorchers from coming in quickly enough. Masons are trying to... Are trying to reclaim this? Yeah, it looks like it. He's trying to reclaim... Trying to reclaim this here... This Lotus, that is going to be... Well, at this point, both... Okay, Lotus is just static at this point, but Black Touchy is going to be able to get rid of these Masons, no problem. And at the same time, a bunch of Scorchers being pushed out, Getting rid of some of Kyubei's metal extractors, slowly but surely pushing Kyubei back. So Kyubei's starting to pay for the fact that he is playing one on two. Still trying to harass as best he can, but it's a little bit difficult to micro this many units. He's mo moving northeast though, sorry, northwest. He does have his, his Scorch getting spotted. Black Touchy still doesn't have radar, by the way. Or sorry, wrong color. No, he does, never mind. Black Touchy does in fact have radar. And that is... It's a vulture, in fact. Fine. Okay, built it this game. Didn't build one last game. But going for it this game, so at least that's useful. And I don't know, was he watching the stream when I mentioned that? No, I don't think they are watching the stream. There's actually the stream count dropped for this, so I'm guessing people aren't watching. So with Rush Doors coming in, it's tearing apart Cubay's south side without much issue. And Cubay is going with a bunch of Scorchers. That is what he needs to do. At least against the Slashers. Against the Levelers is going to be not quite so easy. Scorch is coming in here. The Levelers are going to try to do what they can. And at the same time, we do have to the north a couple Slashers trying to deal with the air units. But that's not going to work out too well. And these Slashers over to the south are going down pretty quickly. Scorch is coming in to try to deal with the rest of this. Come on. And they're able to go to the Slashers, no problem. But the Levelers... Actually, the Levelers did go down, from the looks of it. The Levelers have... Where are those levelers? Well, it looks like they are dead. Yep. Rush Doors' levelers were removed. But at the same time, we do have a bunch of Ravens coming in to try to get rid of these Masons, trying to build up. Lotus is in the center of the map. Cube still trying to do a slow expansion over the center. One Slasher is in place, so we're going to be a slight thorn in Cube's side. Not too much, though. However, all these Aryans coming in are going to be a problem. Slash is trying to do what they can, but Crashers are what Cube is going to need, and he is not going for that right now. Going for more Slashers, going for more Rockos, not going for any anti-air. At all. Well, there's no dedicated anti-air. Slashers are decent flex anti-air, but they aren't going to be powerful enough in this case. Cubase Scorch is on the southwest side, trying to do what they can. And Rockos as well to help out, but that's not going to work too well. The Slashers are going to go down. The Rockos are going to be okay because they can move, but the Slashers cannot move while firing. So these Scorchers will tear them apart. Second Slasher tears everything up, and all these Rockos go down to a bunch of Ravens. Same time, we don't 
surprisingly have any striders. I'm very surprised there are no striders at, at this point. We do have air factory for Cubay. We have a lot of factories for Cubay. Air, Cloaky, and Light Vehicle. But Cubay is going to be losing a lot at this point. Rather hard to deal with this, so... Black Duchy coming along the north side. Gonna scout out everything. See exactly what's going on if he doesn't know already, and probably harass what he can in terms of metal extractors. Cubay does have a ton of defenses built up, but not a lot of anti dedicated anti-air in these defenses. Getting a few Hawks as well, trying to push those out as fast as possible. Swifts going up to the north, gonna harass these northwest metal extractors. Don't even need Ravens around. Enough, enough Swifts around, that's gonna just tear them apart. The Cubay losing the northeast metal extractors, and I'm surprised the Ravens haven't started to take care of all these south ones. I mean, really. All these south ones here, everything in the main base, getting, well, getting a few phoenixes along to these wind generators would be very powerful to do. But not quite doing that, unfortunately, and somehow, why is Tommy not being reported as getting energy? That's just bizarre. But yeah. Count the ravens! 19! Oh good, the game helped me out on that one. Yeah, 19 ravens in play, and down goes all these defenses. Black Duchy taking care of this entire line of defenses. No phoenixes yet, though, actually. I suppose he hasn't heard of build phoenixes and started to use those to get rid of... Does he even know about the wind... I don't think he knows about the wind farm. If he knew about the wind farm, he'd probably be sending phoenixes there, but he does not. Although, admittedly, getting rid of these caretakers would be the best bet. Gets rid of all these caretakers, and that would... Okay, that would bias towards Light Vehicle Factory, but... He's been able to deal with Light Vehicle Factory no problem thus far. So Black Duchy... Slowly but surely pushing this back. Rush Source now rebuilding his army. Does have a bunch of slashers. Levelers as well, and these Rockos... Don't cooperate with that. They can be gotten rid of pretty easily by the Scorchers, but not sure there's enough Scorchers to deal with that. No, there aren't. Scorchers need to move back. Need to need to have more Scorchers there, Rush Sores. It's a good try, but you just need more of them. Now, at the same time, Cubay has built up quite a few Hawks. Gonna be able to get rid of most of Black Touch's Air Force with this. Getting rid of the Swiss pretty handily. Gonna get rid of the Vulture next. Getting rid of Black Touch's entire situational awareness. Yeah, Black Touchy has no radar other than the Vulture. And now he's become aware of... Has he become aware of the wind farm? Not quite. But if he does, I think Cubay will definitely go for the Phoenix, but we'll find out pretty shortly. And these Hawks taking care of everything coming out of Black Touchy's base. Black Touchy at the same time, moving south, trying to avoid the Hawks, but he has no AI. AA. Cubay sees the wind farm. He knows that's a weakness. And... I'm not sure if he's going to go for it, though. At this one, Cubay probably should. He does... He does see all the Ravens. He's able to get rid of all these Ravens. Gonna go for all of them, getting rid of the Hawk as well to try to help out, but fortunately Rush Door is not quick enough on the crash. Actually, not even getting crashed, it's going for Raptors completely. Black Touch is gonna lose the entire Air Force at the same time. Rush Door on the south side of the map is taking a lot of damage from Rocco, who's just marching in. These Ravens slowly but surely going down. They are gradually going down. The Hawks are not folks firing that well, but they are still killing them quickly enough. Cobra has been built, however, Black Duchy does have some anti-air deal with this and some Hawks of his own to get rid of Cubase. But at the same time, Cubay built a bunch of his own Ravens. Might have been the best choice, because that did force Black Duchy to go into a very anti-air heavy mode, but still, at this point, it did give him a chance to get rid of these Ravagers. Get units to deal with the Ravagers and get in place to do so as well. So Rush Sores taking these Ravagers in and actually... Well, forcing Cubase forces back. He was on fight mode for these ra these Rockos, and now the Ravens come in with a vengeance, taking care of actually not that many Rockos, surprisingly enough. But the Rockos are having a hard time getting rid of the Raptors. They will be able to do so eventually, but still, five Raptors do clear the Rocco line with no real problems. Yeah, Cubay right now has finally a Strider Hub, getting funnel webs on top of this, and I'm just supposed to take him that long to get the Strider Hub though. I mean, I gotta reduce the font size. He has more than 100 metal income. How many metal income does this guy have? 107. 107 metal, 120 energy, and that's not surprising given that he is one player against two on a 2v2. Actually, probably on like a 4v4 or 5v5 map. And down go. Oh, tried. He got rid of one of the stingers, but that was not enough. Some Phoenixes have been built, by the way, for Light Touch, so he could go for the wind farm if he wanted to. I don't think so. Probably gonna focus on these forces in the center. Very likely to do so, and in come more and more slashers. Now, Rush Source has... Has he switched anything? No, he has not. And neither has Black Duchy. He's focused entirely on air. So Black Duchy's fully going for air. Rush Source going very heavily for Reclaim. 
Getting a ton of masons for repair and reclaim. Repairing with the slash is much faster than they can be damaged. Nice to do there. And now going with the reclaim instead. So Rush Soars, does he have the... Well, not quite. He, has, he needs more characters to actually fund all of this, but this isn't bad. Yeah, he's starting, to, he's starting to excess metal. He needs more caretakers. Rush Thor's build more caretakers or build another factor or something. He is building more caretakers. Good. Two more caretakers being built so he can make use of that reclaim. And Cubay being pushed back in the south. Funnel Web is up in the southeast, though, and the north, not much to really report. Bunch of power plants being built. Cubay continuing to build up tons and tons of power. Overdrive as best he can. He's got... He's quite a lot of overdrive going on, but mostly just the fact that he has a lot of metal extractors in play. And getting rid of the Ravagers that came up to the north, they were able to deal a bit of damage, but not all that much. Cubay does stop them in the tracks. Now, where's that Funnel Web? The Funnel Web slowly but surely going in there. I don't know if I've shown Funnel Web before. Just Gauss Cannon. That's all it's got. Now, what else is being built for Striders? Another Funnel Web. Interesting. Not, not sure why he's going pure Funnel Web. I don't think it is anti-air. I'm a bit more surprised. I think he would have gone for... Well, Dante is the obvious choice. Though I suppose Scorpion will be the thing to do against the air units. Not really what else. However, at this point, Cubay is going in the north. He is trying to deal with everything here. And Rushers, by the way, 100 reclaim. And he's he is excessing a little bit. But he is managing to spend a vast majority of that. All these caretakers. And this is getting just Ravager after Ravager. Huge. Huge amounts of Ravagers going on here. So this is going to be... Well, it's going to be powerful to deal... It's going to be hard to deal with, and Cubay does see the funnel up. He does have enough Ravens probably to deal with it, actually. Or not quite, but he's not worried about dealing with that right now. He is instead worried about dealing with everything else, and in come the Hawks, which are not going to do too much, actually. Going to try to deal with some of the air here. They're actually able to deal with the shield. Oh. Oh, I see now. Didn't miss that. Didn't see that one. The funnel web has drones. Companion drones coming out the funnel web. That is the thing, or fireflies actually. It's called. That is what the funnel web does. And that's actually where the hawks come in, which Black Touchy was well prepared for this, but even that, even then, Cubay is still pushing forward. But at this point, it's really just a matter of time before Black Touchy and Rush Door just build enough units of their own to completely overwhelm. It's a bit surprising Cubay's managed to live as long as he has, but it's not bad. I'm touch surprised that he hasn't. Oh, I see. There's two shield generators in this. That's why. Funnel of these two purple things here. Those are the shield generators. Yeah, I've never really seen this unit used, honestly, ever. Just doesn't come up. But yeah, that is the funnel web. Strider you rarely see. Yeah, these. Oh, okay, we have a Viper, which has got disruptor beam, and Firefly, which has light particle beam. That's what the funnel web does. Makes drones. Lots and lots of drones, which are actually. Doing a decent job, although a few, a few of them went off the map. I think. Yeah, they're, they're kind of going the wrong way. Get, get back in the battle. I don't know if you can control drones directly, but evidently they do have a bit of a mind of their own. At any rate, however, they are still going to be very powerful here. Shields are doing a very nice job of defending against most of the stuff. Gremlins are able to get rid of the anti-air. Sorry, get rid, able to get rid of the air as anti-air themselves. Cubay, not building up any more fun loops at this point. Two is enough for him. Doesn't want to be too excessive, but he does have to make sure he gets rid of these hawks. If he gets rid of the hawks, then he has free reign to just walk into the funnel webs. No problem, but it is kind of tricky. It's difficult to do so. And in come the gremlins, getting rid of as many hawks as they can. Not able to get, able to get rid of any hawks at this point. Yes, actually, get rid of a lot of them, but down goes a funnel web to Raven. And another funnel web going to go down to Raven Assault from the looks of it. Is it going to go down, actually? It's, well, not quite. It's close. It's down to half health. It's going to take another six or so Ravens to deal with this. Will that happen? Then that's the big question. And it looks like it might. No, not quite. It is actually going down. Sorry, the Raven's going down. The Funnel Web is not. Bunch of Phoenixes over to the north actually doing... Well, interesting job. I kind of wish Floris was here, though, because 2v2 is kind of hard to commentate in one zone. Got to be honest. This is difficult to do. But Rush Doors, I think, has pushed back Cubay. Losing that second Funnel Web, that... That's pretty big, and that's a lot of... That is 40... That's sorry, 1,600 metal of wreckage right there. And another funnel web being built. Yet another funnel web. I mean, Cubay has 100 metal. He might as well. At the same time, 
Ravagers going down the north. This is going to do it. Rush Source is taking the game here with these Ravagers, tearing apart Cubase economy with nothing there to defend against it. So very rapidly just tearing apart everything that Cubase has built, getting rid of his overdrive chain, getting rid of his metal. And Funnel Up going to go down to another... Okay. Bunch of Phoenixes, but there are the Ravens. Why are the Ravens not coming into the Funnel Web? I'm surprised. The Phoenixes are there for getting rid of everything else. Which actually they didn't do a great job of. Losing a lot of Phoenixes in the process. They're going to try to go after the Gremlins. And unfortunately Gremlins are quite tough. They will not go down to Phoenixes that easily. But this will go down easily. This is... Well, this Funnel Web is taking a fair amount of damage. The Drone's doing what they can. However, the Raven's going to finish it off. That funnel web is dead. Down it goes. Exploding very much like a commander. And the Ravens, even then, don't go down. But yet another funnel web coming in. Over main base being heavily attacked. The Ravagers are going to go down. Maybe to the funnel web. I don't know. It doesn't look like they're going to go down in time, though. They got rid of the Light Vehicle Factory. Funnel web will be able to take care of them in time. But that's the problem. The airplane plant is already taking heavy damage. The Ravagers are going to tear that apart. And... This funnel up is not here close enough. That's the only defense that Cubay has. And the airplane plant goes down as well, so only the Plogabot factory is left. Everything that Cubay has is being powered into that Plogabot factory. And he's rebuilding the light vehicle factory. Probably going to rebuild the air plant as well. But even then, that was a powerful assault there, getting rid of a lot of Cubay's economy. At this point, Black Touchy and Rush Doors do have a combined economy that is stronger. It was about even before, but now it's stronger. And how many... 32 Ravens. Just go in the main base and hit everything individually. You could do that with three Ravens. Hit all the caretakers, hit all the factors, hit everything. With that many Ravens, it's pretty trivial. It looks like he's going to go for the Gremlins first. Tearing those apart in advance of everything else. Getting rid of the anti-air. And that actually doesn't even work entirely. The Gremlins do move too quickly. The Ravens are trying to do what they can, the remaining ones at least. At this point, we still have 28 Ravens against 10 gremlins, and the Funnel Web... Actually, Funnel Web support drones able to take care of that raven. Yeah, not the best setup there. At this point, though, only 7 ravens were lost for 32 ravens out of 25. That isn't a big loss, especially given how quickly Black Touchy is pumping them out, and Rush Stores as well, pumping out a lot of units quickly. Just pumping out an entire new army of Ravagers. Well, Levelers and Ravagers. 22 Scorchers. How many Ravagers does he have right now? He has 4 Ravagers, but he's gonna get more. That's not a problem. He is actually still floating. He's got to build more and more caretakers. I'm surprised these players have not built Strider Hubs. Yeah, but Rush Source needs more caretakers even at this point. I think it's actually almost to the point where the time it takes for the unit to get out of the factory is longer than the time it takes to build. Which is a little bit problematic, but it looks like... Yep, Blackjack's going for the north. He is going to be tearing apart everything in the north. Just get rid of these metal Striders. Kill them all. Finish everything off. Cubay has no defenses to the north. And Rush Thor is probably going to go to the north as well. He's reclaiming everything. Needs more caretakers, though. He's starting. He is accessing metal. That's thing to point out. He's accessing metal. I think. I think that excess metal does go to Black Duchy, however. So I'm not 100 sure. This might be being played with that mode on. If it is, then that is working especially well because all that reclaim is going into bombers, and Black Duchy is certainly not. Oh, he's not mass. He's not. Massing. He is massing. He is not accessing at all. Actually, he's... I think that is exactly what was happening. Because he was getting a lot of metal before. I think he's... Yeah, he was basing off of Rush Source Excess. I think that's how it works. I think that's what the mode is on right now. Excess goes to teammates. If someone in the chat could confirm that for me, that would be great. And Rush Source, once again, going over to the north, will be able to take care of this wind farm. Massive Rocco Army to the south, however. Rocco Gremlin Funnel Web. Just trying to get rid of everything. However, enough slashers in place. We'll be able to take care of that. Stinger as well. That will help. And levelers won't, however. Levelers are going to die too quickly. Levelers do not work well against Rockos. And that still is a pretty powerful defense here. And that is just delaying for the Ravens. Ravens coming in. Tearing apart everything. Tearing apart the Funnel Web. Funnel Web once again goes down. QB losing a lot of cash in those Funnel Webs. I'm surprised he hasn't gone for Scorpion or something else like that. Something that is able to stun out all those air units. The Scorpion wouldn't be the best choice. I'm not sure what the best choice would be. Dante, I don't think would work. Yeah, Napalm Rockets and Flamethrower, I don't think it's quite the right option. 
The problem with this is the multi stunner doesn't happen that often. Bantha's probably... No, that wouldn't work. It might work, actually. The Bantha might work. Not 100% sure, but Funnel Web is what Cubay is going for. That's it. No! Funnel Web and Dante! So, Dante, once again, will not be able to deal with the Ravens too easily, but it will burn everything else to the ground. Just not Ravens, because they're in the air, so... That just wouldn't make any logical sense. However, the Ravens are going down. How many Ravens are left? 34! Okay, not very quickly. 34 Ravens are left. So, nothing to see here, and... Rushler's going for a direct assault. He will see the Dante pretty quickly. I think you will see it once it's built, though. Hard to say. It's... It's build time is higher than it looks, but nope, not quite. That is it. Dante is done. Funnel Web is not quite done, but it's going to get all the resources now. And down go a lot of the caretakers. However, yeah, Dante is coming in here, and it's going to tear apart all these Ravagers. Ravagers need to just go in there, take out all the caretakers they can. That's their best bet. Slow down production time. Getting rid of the Wind Farm is not a bad idea, but getting rid of the caretakers is much more important. He needs to do that. And Raven's coming in as well for additional support. They're probably going to get rid of these wind farms, but... He needs to get rid of the Dante. That's what he needs to do. Kill the Dante quickly. What the heck? Wait. What has a terraform beam here? I thought that was Detriment that does that, or... I don't think terraform was just... had happened. I think that was... A, that's a terraform beam, from the looks of it. But no, it doesn't matter. Cubay still throws in the towel. That is game. And that is... Well... That's that. I think I might do another one tonight. We'll see. I think... Well, that was interesting for a 1v2 game, for the most part. Anyway, I don't know what's going to happen next, but I probably will have another game next. It looks like... Ah. Okay, it looks like Floris is back, so I'll have him for the next game, so stay tuned for that.